I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Tamar Braxton accuses Jeremy Robinson of having relations at a hotel with another woman. Is that you wanted me to sit back and let you not only use my car. Let's just say it's a mix up. Okay, fine. But now it's different because you're using my car for your extracurricular activities. And let me just keep it gangster. I wouldn't even trip on that. You know what I'm saying? Wah, wah. It's not that serious. Me and your relationship status has changed the way I see you have changed. You know what I'm saying? Just like you outside, baby, I'm outside too. Like, let's stop pretending like you is the last of the Mohicans. You are not. You know what I'm saying? This is not like, oh, I'm addicted to the white meat. Like, it was fine for what I had, but okay. It ain't giving that. And, I, and, and the truth is, I, I put too much on it because we, are, we were married. And I take my vows serious. And I thought that you did too. And so the truth is, I was waiting for you to come around like a wife. Because all I know how to be is a wife. I was married to Vince. And that didn't work out. And I, I got with D. And we were getting married. And I got with you. And we got married. And, 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 and I married you after you ate somebody, you know, whole boo, whole boo sandwich. So let's not talk about why. And what happened before then, okay? Don't make it seem like I'm a bad person. Don't make it seem like I didn't put up with a lot. Don't make it seem like, oh, I've been so gracious to her. And, you know, I have been giving grace and she's a da da ba da ba da ta da wa wa No, baby. Don't do that. We have given grace to each other. And I hate that I posted that last night for that 10 seconds that I posted and now that it's a frenzy today. But the simple fact of the matter is that I tried to call you and I tried to talk to you and you were so nasty to me. And at the end of the conversation, you're going to tell me to go take my meds. Something that nobody else in the world knew and something that you tried to organize against me. Are you saying that people who take mental medication or anxiety medication, they are not stable? I would hate for you to say that as a lawyer. Don't do that. Be sure to like, share, The fact of the subscribe. matter is, I only came back to say this. Um, I'm not delusional. I am not crazy. I don't have to throw myself on a man. And yes, we have been a strain for six months. And we everything was just final on Friday. So let's... And I'm going to say this in closing because I don't want to say too much. I've, I've probably already said too much, but my feelings are are hurt because everybody is making it seem like I am crashing out over this person and I'm not. Um, I went ham simply because of your disrespect. And the truth is I should have gone ham a long time ago. And I did it because, um, and I'm sure that people have been here before when you're in love with a person who aren't in love with you back. And that was my case, but I didn't realize it until Turks and Caicos. I had no idea until Turks and Caicos. I knew that we had problems. I knew that, you know, things wasn't working, but I always thought that we loved each other because we always said that we did. And um, I always felt like, you know, with love, you can, that is a ground zero for you to rebuild. And so now that you feel like I have aired you out, <laughs> like you have aired me out for months. And embarrassed me for months, you know. Oh, now we ain't going to be friends. Well, that option is not even open to you because I'm the one who blocked you a few days ago. I'm the one who cut off social media and social media and all communication with you. So let's stop perpetuating that. Yes, you are the one who filed for divorce because you were the lawyer. We, you and I as a couple decided that. We don't make it seem like, oh, I got to leave. Because nah, 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 we're not even going to go there. So stop doing that. And I told my I told my daughter that I would not talk about her dad. But in the same interim, I hope she had the same conversation with you that you cannot talk about me. And make it look like I'm deranged and crazy. Now, I know you love Logan. I know you know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, what your children means to me. And most of the reason why I was trying to hold together our union. But what I'm not going to do, Jay, is feel like I got used. Because I did. 
Of course, I do a lot for a lot of people. You know, and you know I do a lot for a lot of people, financially, gift-wise, whatever. I, that's just my nature. I didn't think that I was, oh, dropping a whole bag on you and now we're going to get back together. No. I didn't think that. But did I feel a certain kind of way when you was nasty with me and you used my car for, for entertaining some... And I said, tramp, because you're the one who said that's not your woman. You're the one who said that you, you can't, you hitting them off. You, you hit the jump offs and they, ain't, they don't mean nothing to you. And, you know, it's, it's just, you told me that. So if the defamation, that is you giving me the information. Hello? And, and y'all was following it and talking to each other way more than three days ago, JR. Don't do that. Let's stop making it like I'm trying to be crazy because I don't want this for us. Now, at a certain amount of time, maybe a year, 19 years, 30 years, we could talk. But, you know. Yeah, it's a no for me, dog. And it has to be a no for me because I have to start loving me. And clearly, you know, all the work that I'm doing, you know, I'm definitely skipping over loving me because I felt like I loved you. And I, I loved what we could have been and what we were more than myself. And I am so sorry, you know, to everybody out there that I, you know, put out this post last night. I was praying to God that it didn't go viral. I was praying to God that it didn't, you know, that nobody caught it. I was, you know, praying to God because I knew that, you know, it wasn't necessarily what I wanted to do. It was an emotional thing. But I mean, sometimes when you have been disrespected to the level that I have been disrespected from the situation publicly, it'd be too much, you know, and um, I, I apologize to everybody that was hurt behind it, especially to my kids that I love so much. Um, and um, I'm never going to keep you away from your son. I'm never going to. And I hope that you don't keep me away from my kids. But, you know, I just feel like the way that you try to twist this story is unforgivable and sad because, you know, I came to you calmly and nice after not speaking to you and asked you what happened with the card. And this could have been all avoided, but you're nasty. And uh, every woman that's gotten online has said the same thing, like, you're nasty and you're not nice and I didn't do anything to you and I wasn't trying to be in your business and you know me and you don't even have that relationship um but I said you played in my face and I meant that and you have been playing in my face for a while now and I'm sorry that I snapped online um and I'm sorry this is where we are but we can wrap this up because I have nothing else to say um and I'm going actually about to go and film something you know for a while and so I won't even be here so everybody go and enjoy which y'all enjoy, and I'm taking everybody out the chat. And once again, I apologize, you know, to everybody. It was an emotional 10, 15, 30 second post. And um, this is what happens, you know, when families fall apart. And this is what happens when people are hurt. And this is what happens when, you know, um, people are, you know, fall out of love. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.